It's like I'm not doing it right or something, you know? Can you grab that for me? Yep. Keep going, I'm listening to you. It's like, whenever I'm witnessing to someone, they think I'm crazy and brush me off, you know? Well, most people living for the world, they don't like to hear the gospel. Okay, see you tomorrow. Excuse me. Sorry. All right, well, do I need to bring a bathing suit? <laughs> I don't know the proper attire for a phone party, dude. All right, so I'll call you guys as soon as I get done here. All right, later. I'm sorry about that. No problem. So I was telling you about this club. It's called Upstairs. I've never heard of that one before. You remember the attic? Oh, okay. So the attic is called Upstairs now? Yeah, that's where we're going tonight. It's really awesome. You know that feeling? What feeling? The feeling like something's pulling you and telling you to witness to someone and you make up excuses in your head on why you shouldn't? Well, yeah, that's the Holy Spirit. So me and my buddies were going out and spending all of our deployment money at these nightclubs. So it came to me. I thought, why don't these clubs pay us? Can I ask you something? I didn't mean to interrupt your conversation, but I have a question for you. Sure. Do you know Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Aw, oh, man. I'm not into all that. I think all those religions got it wrong. So you're an atheist? I guess. Can I ask you another question? Sure. Have you ever thought you might be wrong? Sometimes, I guess. Well, let's just say you die in a haircutting accident. And you're standing there in front of God. What happens then? Ask for forgiveness? Ah! Oh, I'm so sorry. You see, that's why it's so important to know Jesus here and now. Because once you die, you can't go back. Why? The Bible teaches that God is righteous. And without Jesus' atoning blood, we can't be forgiven. That's if he's real. I, I don't know you, I've never seen you before, but I know eventually the party will stop and all you're left with is a hurt and a hole in your heart. And Jesus is the only one that can fill that hole. Well, it was nice talking to you, but I think I can manage. Like I said, it's like I'm not doing it right or something. Don't go weary and well doing, Charlie. Don't worry about right ways or wrong ways of doing it. Just show the love that Christ showed you. You know, you could plant a seed and then someone can buy and water it. And then with God supplying the sunshine, that person could change forever. God works in mysterious ways, Charlie. The truth is, you just never know. You're right. I guess you never know. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and as 
as I